What if I told you that one AI system has already made parts of science irrelevant? Not in the future, but right now. Nobel-level work is being done by machines. Biological mysteries that took humans decades are now solved in weeks. And it is only just beginning. In this episode of the Lex Fridman podcast, Lex sits down with Demis Hassabis, the CEO of Google DeepMind, and a man some call the father of real-world AI. They cover everything from simulating a living cell to the truth about AGI, consciousness, and why video games may be our path to understanding reality. And in this video, we are breaking it all down into 10 mind-bending takeaways you do not want to miss. Takeaway 1. This AI is replacing scientists. Demis Hassabis reveals that AI is no longer just a tool in the lab. In many cases, it is already doing what used to require entire scientific teams. The best example is AlphaFold. Before it existed, understanding how a protein folds could take months, even years. Now, AlphaFold can predict protein structures with near-perfect accuracy in seconds. This shocked the entire biology field. Thousands of scientists who once spent their careers studying individual proteins now download results from a model instead. It is like going from hand-copying books to using the Internet, except the leap happened in two years, not two centuries. Demise says this is just the start. The next goal is modeling full biological cells. If AI can simulate everything that happens in a single living cell, then entire research labs may become obsolete. Just like Google Maps replaced folding paper maps, these models might replace much of trial-and-error science. They do not just speed things up. They make new kinds of science possible. From here, we go even deeper into the next mind-blowing goal of this AI revolution. Takeaway 2. A cell is the next frontier. If AlphaFold was about solving one small piece of life, then the next project is about life itself. Demise says DeepMind is now working toward simulating an entire biological cell. That means capturing how proteins fold, how DNA gets copied, how energy flows, and even how diseases spread inside one living system. To give you an idea of how wild this is, think about a single bacterium. It contains millions of moving parts and chemical reactions. Simulating that used to be considered impossible. But with AI, it might actually happen. If successful, scientists could test drugs in a digital cell before touching a real patient. They could understand how cancer mutates or how viruses evolve in seconds. Just like a flight simulator helps pilots learn without flying, this could help doctors and researchers treat without risking real lives. And this ability to model reality so precisely connects perfectly to the next idea. Takeaway 3. AI is learning how the world works. Demis talks about VO, a video AI model that learns how reality behaves by simply watching it. These systems do not get formulas handed to them. They learn physics the same way a toddler learns gravity, by watching things fall. For example, if you feed the model thousands of clips of people dropping objects, it starts predicting how things should bounce or roll. This is called intuitive physics. AI systems like VO develop a kind of common sense about the world. They start to understand light, motion, cause and effect, and more. One day, this could be used to simulate entire cities, train robots, or even build digital worlds for experiments. It is like teaching AI how to see and think about the real world without giving it any rules up front. That is not just smart coding. That is the start of understanding reality itself. So what is the big vision driving all of this? Takeaway 4. The Real Goal of AGI According to Demis, the real purpose of building artificial general intelligence is not to beat humans or replace them. It is to create a kind of universal scientist. Imagine a machine that could solve climate models, design new drugs, write software, and even ask better research questions than we do. That is the goal. He says AGI should be a problem-solving partner, something like a curious genius that never sleeps. This system could work across physics, biology, medicine, and even art. It would not just process data. It would understand it. And that, he believes, is where the biggest breakthroughs will come from. Not because AI is perfect, 
but because it sees what humans miss. He wants to use AGI to go after problems we once thought were too hard to solve in a lifetime. But how close are we to building something like that? We're about to dive into the most exciting part of this video. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up below and share this video in your WhatsApp groups. It really helps us keep making great content. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit subscribe for more. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway 5. Getting to AGI is not magic. Demise says AGI will not suddenly appear through some mysterious breakthrough. Instead, it will come from scaling up what already works. He talks about something called scaling laws. Basically, the more you train a model with better data and more computing power, the smarter it gets. This is how AlphaGo became AlphaZero, and then how AlphaFold was born. Each step was planned. Each layer was carefully built. There was no magic, just clever engineering and massive ambition. He believes the path to AGI is the same. Train longer. Build deeper models. Learn from biology, math, and game theory. If you do it right, intelligence will emerge. And it will not need to look like a human brain. It just needs to solve problems better than humans can. So what will this new intelligence be used for first? Takeaway 6. AI is already solving energy. One of the most practical and exciting uses for AI right now is in solving energy problems. Demis talks about how AI is being used to improve the control systems for fusion reactors. Fusion is the dream of clean energy. But keeping plasma stable is extremely hard. AI can react in real time to balance these reactions, making fusion more possible than ever before. On top of that, AI is also being used to optimize power grids, find new materials for batteries, and design solar panels that work in low light. These are not far-off ideas. They are happening now. And they show how AI is not just a toy for tech labs. It is already working behind the scenes to shape the future of how we live. Now let us go even deeper, into the world of ideas that science still cannot crack. Takeaway 7 the P versus NP mystery still matters. Demis brings up one of the oldest and hardest questions in computer science. It is called P versus NP. To put it simply, it asks whether every problem that is easy to check is also easy to solve. Right now, many things are easy to verify, but insanely hard to compute. Like solving a puzzle where you can recognize the right answer instantly, but finding it might take years. If someone proves that P equals NP, it could unlock almost all of modern computing. Demise does not think it is likely, but he says thinking about it helps us understand the limits of both humans and machines. It is like asking if there is a shortcut through the deepest forest in math. Even if the answer is no, trying to find it teaches you a lot about the trees. And speaking of limits, what about consciousness? Takeaway 8. Machines might never feel. One of the most delicate topics in the entire conversation is consciousness. Can a machine ever feel or be aware of itself? Demis says, we do not know. He is open to the idea that one day, something like consciousness might emerge from the right kind of computation. But he also says, we do not even fully understand what consciousness is in humans. Some people think it comes from quantum effects in the brain. Others think it is just a side effect of complex processing. Either way, today's AI models, even the smartest ones, do not feel anything. They process symbols. They do not have a self. And we should not pretend they do. Right now, they are more like calculators that talk really well. But AI is not just solving science. It is also reshaping entertainment. We're about to hit the final takeaways from this video. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up below and share this video in your WhatsApp groups. It really helps us keep making great content. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit subscribe for more. Now, let's continue with the video. Takeaway 9. Games are becoming alive. Demi started his career in video games, and now he believes games are one of the best ways to explore intelligence. He talks about a future where video games are not just scripted stories. Instead, they are living worlds generated in real time by AI. Imagine talking to a game character who remembers what you said yesterday, 
or exploring a world that changes based on how you behave. These games would be more like dreams than apps, and the characters inside them would not follow fixed scripts. They would learn and grow. This could be used for creativity, therapy, education, or just fun. It blurs the line between playing a game and living inside a new world. So who gets to build this future? Takeaway 10. The AGI race is heating up. Finally, Demis talks about the real-world pressure behind all of this innovation. The race to AGI is not just technical, it is also political and strategic. Countries and companies are competing to build the most powerful AI systems. Demise says DeepMind tries to focus on long-term goals and ethics. But he admits there is real tension in the field. Everyone wants the best talent. Everyone wants to be first. And there is a danger that short-term wins will be valued more than safety or wisdom. This is not just a tech race. It is a race that could shape how power, truth, and knowledge work in the future. AI is not just another tech trend. It is changing the way we discover, create, and think. When a machine starts doing Nobel-level science, it is not the future knocking. It is already in the room. And as Demis Hassabis shows, the biggest question now is not whether AI will change everything. It is whether we are ready for what comes next. So what do you think? Will AI replace science or reinvent it entirely? Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the thanks button below. It really helps us keep going. If you enjoyed this summary, please leave a like and share it in your WhatsApp groups. To join discussion about this video, drop a comment below. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.